Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Gemini their weekly love read. This will be the week of October 11th through the 17th. We are going to do you, them, and the connection. See what pops out for you, Gemini. Um, these are general reads, so if it does not resonate with you, then please um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising if you're interested in that. Um, I do have my website up and running if you're interested in a personal read. There's a link in the description box to check that out if you're interested. Um, sorry. Uh, thank you for always. Thank you as always for coming. I do appreciate you coming to view my channel. We're also going to get a Messages of Love Oracle card by All Things Intuitive and a White Rose Guidance card, um, Divine Love Messages, uh, Volume 1. And then we're going to finish off the read with a Moonology card. So we'll see what we have for Gemini's in Love for the week of October 11th through the 17th. Well, let's see what all this stuff is. All right, Gemini. Interesting. Okay. So Gemini, you're showing up um, as the Nine of Cups, which is usually emotional fulfillment, right? Um, but the Nine of Cups is often, the Nines are a singular energy. So um, perhaps you are doing what you need to do to fulfill yourself right now. You're not really part of a, a team at this point. You're focused on filling your own cup and you're resting and relaxing and recuperating. So you're resting your heart. You are... Um, rejuvenating yourself. So perhaps um, this is required because you are in a singular energy. Um, and then we have the Knight of Swords here. So the Knight of Swords is a very intelligent, quick-witted, funny action person. So um, someone that's used to taking action and perhaps um, they leap before they think uh, and then they kind of might feel a little foolish or they might not really care so much about the circumstances they're just going to do what they choose to do so i feel like right now you are really kind of focused on healing yourself and just focused on yourself um, but i feel like you're ready to kind of rush into something um you just kind of are i don't know ready to take a chance to run into something um, your person is showing up, um, and we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. I feel like they have been kind of focused on something that's no longer there or that they see is kind of wasting away. Um, they have this, this glorious cup in their hand here. They, uh, have a lot to be thankful for there, but they're more focused on these bowls that are, you know, dra draining. I can't speak today. I feel like I always have something going on. Um, but I think this is going to change. I think they're ready for a new stable start. Um, they could potentially be an earth sign because we have two pentacles here. But uh, we have the ace of pentacles and we have the page of pentacles. So perhaps you'll have some good news coming your way um, and a new stable start. So I feel like they're ready to kind of walk away from this feeling of apathy and depression and unhappiness. Um, to, to move forward to a new stable start. I think that they're also um, kind of willing to um, give messages and, and have conversations. So, but that's a grounded person. They could be a little bit younger than you with a page being there. Um, so this is kind of interesting energy between the both of you, right? Because you're kind of healing, but you're ready to rush forward. They kind of are healing, slow moving a little bit more. And then we have... The Two of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Hermit. So the Eight of Wands is that energy of rushing forward, positive movement forward. Um, but the Hermit is energy of kind of secluding yourself and keeping yourself um, pulled back from everyone in that solitude type energy and, and continued healing. So, um, And then we have the Two of Wands, which is a choice in a direction of some sort. So, Or it could be a travel card in this deck because she's kind of got travel materials around her, but usually it's a path to pick. So I think it's kind of interesting. So are you going to take the path, Gemini, of rushing towards somebody? Are you going to take this path of rushing towards and having this rapid movement? Or are you going to take the path of 
pulling back and, and remaining this, in this hermit mode and continued healing. So what are you going to do? I mean, you have both here. So it's, it's kind of interesting to me that they line up. So they both line up with your energy, but with this choice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clarify because I want to know what this means. Gemini, what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Gemini? You're going to stay focused on your solitary um, self? Are you going to you know, rush towards this person? That one kind of... <laughs> okay, so I, I think... Um, if I look at these cards here, Gemini, um, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. So I think your hesitancy could be, um, so we have seven sevens, I mean, we have seven and seven. Um, I think your um, hesitancy might have been some lies, deceptions in the past. So, um, or perhaps you had a lot of options. So I think... You've had a lot of options where um, you weren't necessarily looking to kind of make a choice of one person. Um, you've encountered some lies and deceptions. Perhaps that's probably why you're healing. But when I ask, like, what you're going to do, we also get the Knight of Wands and the Knight. I'm sorry, the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Um, I think your passion is going to kind of overtake the situation. Um, this is a very passionate connection. Um, and you are going to rush forward. So I think... Um, we have the Knight of Swords twice. So I think that means that that energy of rushing forward, moving to a situation is what's going to happen. You have a, a path to pick. You potentially could have multiple choices. But um, you're going to rush forward, Taurus. That uh, I just said Taurus. So maybe you're dealing with a Taurus. Sorry, you're going to rush forward, Gemini. Um, interesting. Interesting, Gemini. Let's see. I don't know if I've been calling you the right name the whole way through or not. So messages of love. We got addiction. And addiction is affecting this relationship. Hmm. I don't know whose side that might be on. And then the spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Interesting. All right, Gemini, we're going to get a White Rose Guidance Divine Love Message, Volume 1. I worship your perfection. Well, that could be this addictive type thought, right? And then um, I've tried telling you the truth so many times, but I just cannot for some reason. I feel like that might be you, um, Gemini. I feel like that might be you kind of holding yourself back in the past. But you really do, um, you're really interested in this person. They're really interested in you. They're ready for a new start. But they don't want to rush. They want to take it slow. And you're going to be coming <laughs> coming at them. Come at me. All right, guys. We are going to get a Moonology card from Yasmin Boland. Um, surrender to the Divine. Full Moon. Yeah, Gemini. So I think you are going to surrender. You're going to surrender to the Divine. You are going to um, rush towards, I mean, Knight of Swords twice. You're going to rush towards your person. Uh, it's going to be passionate. I mean, we have the Eight of Wands here too. But I think it's going to be after you do this healing. The Hermit and the Four of Swords is healing. And I think your person's going to require um, a bit of a slower pace because they're also kind of just starting off and moving at a slower pace. But... All right, Gemini, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. This concludes our reading for today. Until next time, guys, take care, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.